What's up, y'all? This is David, the Bagua Buddha, aka the Shogun of Goju. This is my boy here, Jess One. We're gonna do a little demonstration on Singy and Goju. We came with this idea last night. We believe that there's some similarities here. So we're gonna, you know, demonstrate some moves for you. Now, Jesse, how long have you been doing Singy for? Oof. So I'll say 2010. All right, and what's the application in Singy? I mean, I'd like to know. I noticed five elements, and I noticed that the five elements are similar to some of my blocks in my system. So I just want to know what kind of blocks to use exactly. Well, you got splitting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. You got splitting. And you know what's funny? It looks like cat stance right here. So for okay. our hands, it's slightly up, which yours is what slightly down. Yeah. Which is right in the middle. Actually. Right. Because when you come. Right. So I got a question. Like, let's say if somebody want to come in with a punch, how would you stop it? Yeah. Really? really? Like that? Right. Right. To the side. right. You don't want to just um, come straight in. Right. So it's coming in an angle. Right. So right. when I throw, you know, right. it's coming in an angle. Right. Right. And that's why you can come up with a different combination on it. And what other, and what other strikes you have too? Or oh, blocks? We got drilling. And how would you apply that? So if somebody come in. Right. So basically, let's say if I want to come in with something similar to mine, I can just come in right here, right? And we're gonna be each other. Right, right. Interesting. And another thing too with the uh, five elements, how would you use it in a realistic situation? Well, realistic situation, um, it's not gonna be pretty. You know, when you do a pre-arrange, of course it's gonna look pretty, man. Like bam, right, right. bam, spring, okay. right. You got earth, mm -hmm. okay? But, uh, of course, when you do a pretty range, the person staying still is gonna look pretty, but mm -hmm. in a realistic manner, it's not. Yeah, because, I mean, you got Jews in the street walking around with the hood like this, like, yo, boom, yeah. try to rock you, so how would you stop that? Okay. Well, yeah, like, right? See, I'm ready for it, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm ready for it. Right, so, right. You know, but, of course, if you're not ready for it, then how would you adjust? What I'm saying is, He's not just gonna throw that hook. Of course. He's gonna cover the next one. Right. Yeah, but he's gonna come that so, right there, bam, yeah. Bam. You know, so you gotta come with different combinations. So bam, mm -hmm. bam. You know. Right. Well basically, so I can just so, come. So if you if you engage with me, right? right. And, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. It's not gonna look pretty, right? You know? Mm hmm Especially when you do the bone, you know. Right. And you know what I noticed too with the bunk? I noticed that this has more reach than the horizontal punch. And what I found out is that this punch is like pure power, while this punch here is more cutting action. Yeah. So I just want to know, do you use this cutting action in your system, or you just go just straight punch? Well, I've seen you use straight. Mm -hmm. You know, that's bunk, bunk, mm -hmm. right, right. Oh, well, basically, um, bong, bong, but of course, if I'm gonna come here. Yeah, so you see, it takes, it takes longer. It takes longer, right. Because I kind of like figure that out as well, because I figure if I want to use this sort of punch right here, I'll have to get close instead of just yeah. use the bong, because the bong kind of gives me that entry level. Yeah, that's that. Yep. Because that's interesting, because I mean, I see UFC, I see uh, what, the boxing yeah. tournaments, and they all use this type of punch, so. Yeah, There's different signs. Everybody, everybody got their own train of thought, fighting. Right, know? right. It's how it changes how you fight. Exactly. Well, there you got go. I mean, there you go, guys. Another exclusive of David Street Self-Defense 101. Peace.